the shop. Today, we are actually, it's, it's storming out and that's why I'm in here. In today's episode, we are going to go over rigging techniques for the fluke. It may surprise you, there are actually a ton of different ways you can rig a fluke. I'm going to just go over a couple of them here, my favorite ways to rig them. Um, it's more of a preference what people do. My number one favorite way is to make the fluke dive actually and you can do this a couple of different ways different rigging uh, techniques to do it uh, I'm gonna go over it a couple ones I'm gonna go over my favorite one and that sort of thing first off you need your bait this is a strike king I'll put a link down below in the description on where you can get these these to me swim the best out of all the flukes I've ever tried this one has the most erratic action now with these guys they come in two sizes I believe um, my favorite color is to throw a straight right they have, instead of a double tail, they have one solid tail and it has a ball at the end and it seems like it just kicks a lot farther. Not that it really kicks, it's more of a jerk bait. But anyways, I like to pair them up with a 3-aught or 4-aught inline like Texas rig hook. But um, this is a worm hook so it's a straight, straight back on it. It's not rounded like the other hooks. Um, this one's straight. So it's the same, it's a similar concept to fishing a weightless Senko, it's the same thing with this. You can do all the same things with fishing a weightless Senko if you want it to sink a little faster and that sort of thing. So what I do is I take this hook, I rig it just like a Texas rig, I go through the nose just a little bit. And I always go um, out the bottom of the bait, which is where the crevice is in the belly, that little... Um, area that's to hide the hook better it slides through the weeds better with it there it makes it more of a realistic style bait when it fish can't see the hook so I'll poke that through the top and then I skin hook it to make it weedless now what I also do is I use a swivel and I put it about um, three quarters of foot up from that hook I like using the brass swivels a pretty big one so it actually weighs down the bait. So when I'm moving this bait, it's not like you're putting a weight inside the actual bait that noses it down a lot. Uh, the bait still has the same exact action as before. Instead of going to the surface though, it dives. So in certain situations, this comes in handy. Now that makes it dive, but it's not really a fast dive. It's just slow enough where when you jerk it, it will dive downwards instead of up towards the surface. I think of it as if the, if the fish is really finicky and they're looking at the fish, the bait, really good. I think it may, to the fish, look like a bait fish chasing a even smaller like little bug or something in the water. Because you see that brass swivel, it's, it could be like a little beetle in the water or a little bug or something. And a bait fish about this big, which would eat something like that, is perfect. It looks like it's chasing it around. So that may be another additive to it that make, maybe it makes it more realistic. Who knows, but that's the way I look at it. If you want it to dive even more, you can always go up to a thicker wire hook. I, for this rig, I like using a Bass Pro Brands. I forget what the exact model is called, but um, their hooks have a lot uh, thicker wire shanks and they're a lot cheaper than other hooks. So it actually makes the bait sink faster and in some situations when you want it to sink this is, this is the whole way to go. You just got to set the hook. Other side of things, if you want to go up out of the water and make it look like an injured bait fish jumping out of the water and stuff, you go on a lighter shank hook so it's lighter, no swivel and you can actually rig it a certain way to make that bait jump even more. Now the way to do this is you rig farther into the plastic than before and it will actually make it jump out more and it dives down. Every jerk is different because that big chunk of plastic in front of the hook is going to turn different directions. Depending on if you rig it straight or this and that, it's going to make it do different things. Now, rigging it through farther is going to weight it different as well, so keep that in mind. But you can jump that thing out of the water more, it dives, it's just more erratic action with that plastic, it's more randomized action. So that may get you a few more strikes. Give it a try, just experiment around with it. But that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. 
don't mind that thunder, it is nasty outside. Also, before I forget, you can also use something else with this bait and it comes in handy to have in your boat a lot because this bait, how, how much it moves in the water, it goes really well with a little rattle. Now you can get different kinds of rattles. They're sometimes a little expensive. I like using the glass coating with BBs inside. I put this in the bait as I usually go either right behind the back of the hook where it pokes through the bait. You can poke it up through there. There's a little, not made spot for it, but it's like a big chunk of plastic. You want to get it in a big chunk of plastic and kind of hide that thing way deep in the bait so it doesn't fall out on you because this bait's jumping all over and it could fall out if you have it hanging out. Or another thing I will do is I will actually go in the center of the bait between the nose of the hook and the tip of the point of the hook um, and I'll go through that big chunk of plastic there. If you got any questions leave them down below in the comments section. I will get back to you as soon as possible and I will respond to every single one so don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. Also if you like this video make sure you leave a like and I will be doing more videos so stay tuned. I hope I taught someone something today like that's my goal. Um, just anglers a lot of people who watch me are usually younger or they're in the high school teams and stuff that I fish tournaments against and some of you I know could definitely learn a little thing or two here and there doing this. Um, just a really cool cool rig to throw and I hope you guys go give it a try in the lake. See you guys in the next episode. I want the world, yeah I want the world, yeah I want it all said I want the world, yeah I want